The influence of hip hop on the youth culture and culture in general is unparalleled by any other genre of music to date. And I think the reason why it's so effective uh, and influential is because it's a music that is very much about current affairs. Whatever is happening right now, within a day or two, will find itself in a hip hop song and with the use of the internet spread to hundreds of thousands of people instantly. A music that is that in tune with a current affairs can't help but have that much influence on youth culture. That saying of art imitating life and life imitating art is truly manifested and represented in hip hop music like no other genre that I've ever seen. You may have a trend that is popular on the streets. It could be from gang culture, it could be from bike culture or skateboarders or a fashion trend. And all it takes is for some artist to incorporate that into a song for that to be spread to another group of people in some other part of the world. And then a subculture is created upon that. That subculture turns into mainstream culture and then everybody's doing it. Could be a dance, could be a slang word, could be a form of dress. But all of those things are incorporated into hip hop music. The relationship between branding and hip hop has one that's been in existence almost since the beginning of hip hop. You have to look at what the hip hop artist is first to understand why branding is such a perfect relationship for them. Of course, hip hop got its start in New York. And at that time, New Yorkers are till, still to this day known as being trendsetters, as fashionable people, as innovative people. And the way they dressed and their style and their, their tastes were always represented along with their music. But well, these are always things that logos and brands could accompany at the same time. So the minute hip hop as a music became a product, it became easier to sell other products. That's something that's just always been the case with, with music. You look at the hip hop artist as a person that can sit on a stage or a podium and be seen by hundreds of thousands to millions of people. What the perfect place to put product placement on a living human being that people can see themselves in. That's a reflection of the culture. Hip hop is about a music that is completely synonymous with current events and trends in culture right here and right now. So if a person who's popular says that they wear a particular brand, that's in the moment right now. Or it's a foreshadowment of what's going to be popular and people want to jump on board of it even faster. It's a culture and a music that's based on being trendsetting. I can't necessarily speak on the level of Kanye or Jay-Z or Yeezy, but even in my own self, I get approached by brands constantly. They know that if I'm seen wearing something or using one of their products, that X amount of people will also use that product. It's saying it's cool, it's trusted. I trust this person's musical taste and their music. They write lyrics that relate to in my life. So if they use this particular brand or object, I'll like it too. It's helping me make decisions for myself. And that's something, again, that hip hop is really, really good at doing because hip hop is so much about the individual person and less about the music. In other genres, you may know tons about the music, but you that person may be a mystery to you. He may be someone that has a lot of allure around them that you don't know much about their personal lives. We don't know what a lot of rock artists may eat or their favorite restaurants or what brand of particular black denim that they're all wearing, even though they're all wearing black denim. We don't know. But a hip hop artist goes out of his way to tell you the name of that brand or the jewelry or the car or the restaurant or the drink. Of course, you would use that artist to sell a brand. My first cassette tape that I personally bought was Run DMC's Raising Hell. And I had to hide it because it said the word hell. That's how young I was. My team is structured in a way where I, I trust them to do what they do because they're skilled at it. And it allows me to just make the music at the end of the day. You know, I'll probably be doing visual arts or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, probably directing and you know what I'm saying? Movies and stuff like that. This just had a bunch of bomb ass cheese, man. Sorry about that, Wolf, but yo, I knew you, you weren't going to eat it anyways.